bronze medal match. Time for the recurve mixed team bronze fight off between the USA and India. Not unusual to see either of these teams at this stage. And time to present the athletes out around the field of play. For the United States uh, world number one, Brady Ellison. Casey, come on! He teams up with, oh, I got this right, 17 year old Brady Casey Cowfold. Yeah, she is pretty young. Um, she came through um, World Champs in 2017 in Argentina. Uh, and yeah, she was really, really amazing there and just come through the ranks very quickly. Well, they go up against India. And Keita Bakat and Atanu Das. The Indians, of course, have qualified a, a men's team for the Olympic Games. So uh, you've got to fancy that Atanu Das will be part of that team. Yeah, he certainly would. I mean, he's been up there, isn't he? He's shooting ever so well right now. So I'd certainly want to put him up in the top three. Vamos a ver la disputa del bronce. Inicia disparando la faca número uno, Estados Unidos. So shooting from at target number one, America. America will lead off this bronze medal match. Really, really difficult to call this one, isn't it? I mean, I, I would tend to lean towards the, this USA lineup, but um, Brady Ellison's not been on the best form overall. The USA haven't perhaps performed as well as they would have liked to. It's going to be interesting to see how Brady does perform in this one. That, that probably is going to be key to the match. Well, it's teammate Keith Calfold to get us underway. It's drifted over to the right. Now, let's not uh, judge too early on this one because we need to see how the first four hours fly and whether there is any change in the conditions with the wind. There you go, Brady. So, Brady's solid straight in the 10. Back up and lead things off for the Indian team. Interesting, she's gone the opposite direction. So, you know, I, I think this is down to archer error rather than con conditions. Just an adjustment of the sight there from back out there as well. So, all square after the first two, nothing to separate the two teams. Yep, there you go. That was good timing. She's going to feel more confident after that shot now. Good confident shot, straight in the 10. Solid finish from the USA, a 37 for them. So two tens required here for India, just to draw level. Ruby. So already we know the set points are going to be with the USA in this one. Das will be keen. To still put a good arrow down in preparation for the next set. Oh, no. He's drifted over to the right. Curious. First set for the Indians, the points go to the USA. They lead two set points to nil. So interesting stuff there, uh, Nikki. A seven to start with from Casey Calfold. Uh, an eight over the other side for, uh, for the Indians, for Bakat. What's going on? Yeah, it's difficult to say. I think you know, the most important thing is you come in, you shoot that first shot as strong as you can. If it doesn't hit the 10, you've just got to move your sight and, and adapt. And USA team have done that. They've come back um, strong with that 37. So, but India, I feel, still haven't, they're not quite sure. It, you know, are they in the middle or not? So I think they're going to come into this next end a little bit less confident. 
just retrieving the arrows, the agents are uh, collecting them for the next set. That's why I have this a momentary break in between each of the sets as the targets are cleared. And it's a moment for the teams either to uh, you know, reconnect, celebrate <laughs> if they've had a good set and refocus for the next set. Uh, sometimes I look at them and there just seems to be a, a constant amount of worry on their faces. I mean, are they, are they generally just trying to keep to the same pattern, whether they're winning or losing in, the, in these breaks? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of different ways of looking at it. You can play a story and think, all right, I'm up, I'm up, up, I'm up on my competitor and, you know, I'm going to use that adrenaline to, to fire me. Or you can just stick with the same every time. It's just you and the target. So there are different ways of looking at it. You're trailing. Yeah. That's a better shot into the ten. Yeah. Oh, great start yeah. from India. Yeah. The start yeah. of the fight back potentially. Yeah, that's exactly what they needed. Just that right pressure now to put back on the Americans. Didn't look happy with that, and that's why. Drifted right again, just like a first arrow did. There it is. <laughs> I wonder how much pressure Brady Ellison is feeling at the moment. The weight of expectation alone must be huge. It's just such a big year for him, isn't it? I mean, he, he ended 2019 with winning just pretty much everything, and he was ready for Tokyo, and he's had this gap. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he bounces back. Oh, this is solid stuff from the Indian team. They were hiding this in the first set. And we're going to have our first perfect here in the recurve. Team bronze medal match. Oh, just drifting out into the eight, but a 38, four stronger than the previous set for the Indians. And uh, Tanu Das looking pretty happy. Two tens required from Calfold oh, and Ellison, and that's not going to be enough. Set points we know now will be with the Indian team and will be all square at two set points each. Perhaps a moment for Brady Ellison to completely relax and take the weight off his shoulders. Ruby. That's what you get, a very close niner. But 35 from the USA, the sport the score is not really that important. Uh, what is important is the set score, and that's two set points apiece. And a very strong performance from the Indians. Yeah, definitely. They've come back strong there just where they needed to, to level things up. I think when Casey came back off the line that time, she looked a bit more like, yeah, I know what that was this time. So, you know, she's probably feeling like she's just figured something out that's not going quite, quite as she wanted it to. So, yeah, let's see if she can just get back into that normal routine now and, and keep them in the middle. Um, yeah, solid stuff from the Indians, but we talked about uh, Brady Ellison just not quite looking back to where he was, both mentally and, and in terms of what's coming out of the bow and onto the target it's uh, it's quite unusual yeah his, i mean his qualifying though was amazing wasn't it another yes. plus 690 and uh, but it just hasn't performed in the eliminations he went into the individual elimination with a bye and sometimes that's really tough because it's kind of nice to have i'm going to say this in quotations an easy first round and he didn't get that he went straight in uh, to a fairly hard match so he's just not warmed up yet i don't think yeah. Getting back into the rhythm after so much time off is uh, is going to be tough for all of them, but especially if you are just seen as the leading light in the, the whole division. Uh, I'm sure he'll be back soon enough. Now we turn our attention to set number three and Casey Calford leading things out for the USA. Watch out. And again, out into the eight. It's the same place as well, isn't it? High right, something's happening. But... I'm not sure what, but it's just they're not hitting the middle. She needs to figure this out quickly. Just losing too many points. There it is. 
Better shot from uh, Brady Ellison. Not for the first time, he doesn't look well, whimsical, confused. He doesn't look happy, I'd say, but he, at least he doesn't look confused anymore. And key to back at shooting first for yeah. India. Oh, they are on fire, the Indians. If they can keep this form up, I don't think it's going to matter what Calfold and Ellison do. Yeah. Solid shooting, isn't it, from both of them. It's exactly what you need, both male and female archer bringing it with the tens. Every point matters. <laughs> Gone out the other side, clipped the line for the nine, so we'll get a nine for that one. Alison needs another big shot here to just put some kind of pressure on India. Just drifting into the line. So 36. You know, we don't you want to be too harsh on Casey Calfold. He's just 17 years old. So plenty of time to build up her experience. But drifting out into the eights in the last two sets has caused the USA some problems. Well, now it's Ankita back at drifting out into the eight. Same again as well. Yeah, I don't. I just don't think the conditions are causing these problems. I think it's just probably a bit of the jitters, a bit of the nerves back on this stage, once again. Yeah. No problem for Atanu Das. The points go to India in the third set. They lead four set points to two, having trailed by two set points after the first. This is a tremendous performance from India. And just the trajectory you want to go in through through a match. Yeah, definitely. They're just looking more and more solid every end, aren't they? They've really sort of dialed into the middle. Yeah, they had that just one poor arrow that end, but you know, it's a really great performance from them. Let's take a look back at uh, Nikita Bakat. She put it in the 10 to start that set. And look at that, followed up by her teammate. Casey Calfold had shot an eight to start things off for the USA. Ellison shot a 10 and a nine, that nine just seeing that set out. 36 points for the USA, 38 for India. So India get the set points. They've come from 2-0 down to lead 4-2. This for the bronze medal here in Guatemala City in the recurve mixed team event. USA will shoot first in set number four. And it will be Casey Calfold to lead them out again. This time a high arrow. Just looking really disappointed, and no, I don't think she really knows what is going on there. There. <laughs> Much more like the Brady Ellison of old, smooth, solid, and his name usually followed with ten. Just dropping out into the nine there. She's performed solidly as well. Only dropped four points across the four sets. Ruby. Oh, talk about grouping. A little smile from Atani Das. Very popular on the uh, circuit. Ruby. Better shot from Calfold into the nine. One and you've got to say, Ellison really must be Good thinking about a ten buddy. here, just to give some glimmer of hope for the USA. Ruby. Into the nines, so 35 
not happy. Movement in the stabilizer there. Yeah. Oh, gets away with a 10 though. So, as you can see, a 7 now is all that Atanu Das and India need to take bronze here in Guatemala. Ruby. Just putting it into the 9, a low one, but it's enough. A 37 gives the set points to India and they take the bronze in the recurve mixed team event beating the USA six set points to two. Nikki, um, look, first off, congratulations to India. They performed really well, but let's just, just deal with the USA first. The USA were flat again. Yeah, they were. I mean, Brady took an end or two just to get into the groove. He looked much more comfortable by the end of it, didn't he? But I don't think Casey ever really did feel comfortable. And yeah, no, she's just back up on this, you know, senior stage and she hasn't really been here before. So you know, there's a lot of pressure, a long gap without anything. So it's just a case of trying to settle back into it, really. Yeah, but India, uh, brilliant. They started a little bit slowly, got a 34 in the first set, but then from then just got better and better. Yeah, they did. The first the first end wasn't what we expected, but then, yeah, the last three have just been really powerful, really dominant. Um, they just look so comfortable. Yeah, brilliant shooting from Ankita Bakat and Adanu Das. Uh, India getting a bronze medal in the mixed team event here in Guatemala City. If we take a look back over some of those shots, there is the 17-year-old. You say, you know, she hasn't really been here, which she was getting into the senior circuit stuff, but hasn't really got much experience. And then after being so young and having that huge break in competition, it is like starting again for a 17-year-old, isn't it? Yeah, I guess when you've only been there a few times and, and then to have that big break, um, that can really make an impact. Whereas Brady, I mean, he's got so much experience to draw on over what, 15, 20 year uh, career now. So yeah, he's much more used to these con conditions and can just remember what to do really. Yeah, but India, look at that. Uh, it's celebration from Atanu Das. Absolutely well-deserved and they look very, very strong indeed.